To begin your Liechtenstein project, uh, the first thing you need to do is open the image that you downloaded to use for the project. So you go up to the File drop-down menu, File, Open, navigate to wherever you saved your image. It may be in your Downloads folder, it may be in your Documents folder. Um, in my case, it's on my desktop. So I'm going to come in here and go to the JPEG that I'm using. I'm also going to create a new blank file. So after I've opened my image, I'm going to do File, New. We're going to name this with your last name, underscore L-I-C-H, Lichtenstein. So we're just going to use an abbreviation. If your photo is wider than it is tall, you make your width 11 and your height 8.5. If it's taller than it is wide, you're going to make your width 8.5 and, and your height 11. Make sure your units are set to inches and your resolution is set to 300 pixels per inch. Everything else can stay the same and then go ahead and click OK. So now you should see that you have your JPEG image open as well as your project file, which is this blank white page. We're going to duplicate your JPEG into your project file right here. So to do that, you want to come over here to your Layers palette and click the Layer Options menu in the top right corner of your Layers palette. It looks like a bunch of little lines. Click Duplicate Layer. We're going to name this layer background, change your destination document to Didio Lichtenstein or your last name Lichtenstein and then click OK. Once you've done that you can close the JPEG tab. So I'm going to close that up. Now we should see the JPEG image that you decided to use for this project in your project file. Do you notice it's really really small so we need to transform it. So to do that, you want to do Command T on your keyboard using one of the corner anchor points and hold, while holding the Shift key, you want to click and drag until your photo fits within the white space of your workspace. Now if you notice, my picture is really blurry or also known as pixelated. Once you hit the Enter key, it's going to clear up. Okay, so you transform it, holding shift so you don't distort your photo, and then you hit the enter key once you get it to the size you want. Um, and then what I would like you to do is do a command S to save your image, save it to your documents or your folder for this project, uh, make sure that your format is a Photoshop file, and then click save. All right, there's one more step until we start changing this picture up. What I would like you to do is unlock this white background layer and see how there's this little padlock here. To do that, you just have to double click the layer, click OK, and then we're going to throw that layer in the trash because we don't need it. So we're going to click and drag it down to our trash can, let go, and we're good to go. Save again, and then you can move on to tutorial number two.